Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to follow the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. The 2025 Airbus A321 Neo is the latest evolution in Airbus's single aisle aircraft family and it's already making waves across the global aviation market. Designed for maximum fuel efficiency, longer range, and reduced emissions, the A321neo is more than just a narrow-body aircraft. It's a next-generation airliner that's pushing the boundaries of what commercial aviation can do both for passengers and operators. Let's dive into what makes the 2025 version of the A321neo such a big deal in the aviation world. First off, the Neo in A321neo stands for New Engine Option, and it's exactly what sets this aircraft apart from its predecessors. Airbus has equipped the A321neo with a choice of two ultra-modern and fuel-efficient engines, the Pratt Whitney PW1100GJM geared turbofan, and the CFM International Leap 1A. These engines are not just more powerful, they're significantly quieter and cleaner than previous generations. Airbus claims a 15 to 20 percent improvement in fuel burn per seat compared to the older A321 Shio. That's huge when you think about the cost of jet fuel and the environmental impact of commercial aviation. In addition to these engines, Airbus has also added advanced wingtip devices called sharklets. These 2.4 meter tall wingtips reduce drag, further enhancing fuel efficiency and range. Combined with the new engines and structural enhancements, the A321neo can fly farther and more economically than ever before. One of the standout features of the 2025 A321neo is its range. Thanks to improvements in fuel storage and weight optimization, the aircraft can now fly up to 4,700 nautical miles. That's enough to connect city pairs like New York to Rome, Los Angeles to Honolulu or London to Dubai are all on a single aisle aircraft. This level of range has never been seen before in this class of aircraft and has opened up new opportunities for airlines to fly long haul routes without the expense of using a wide body jet. This has led to the popularity of the A321 Xlora an extended long range version of the A321 Neo, while technically a variant. The A321XLR is still part of the A321neo family and uses the same fuselage and cockpit but adds a permanent rear center tank for extra fuel and modified landing gear. The 2025 A321neo integrates several features developed during the A321XLR program to increase overall performance and versatility across the fleet. Airlines love the A321neo because it offers unbeatable operational efficiency. Not only does it burn less fuel, but it also carries more passengers than any other narrow-body aircraft. A typical two-class configuration can seat about 180 to 220 passengers, and in a high-density, all-economy layout, it can hold up to 244 passengers. That makes it a perfect choice for both regional and transcontinental flights. For low-cost carriers, it means more revenue per flight for legacy carriers, it offers flexibility to adjust capacity without sacrificing comfort or efficiency. Speaking of comfort, passengers are noticing big upgrades inside the A321neo cabin. Airbus has rolled out its latest airspace cabin for this aircraft featuring bigger overhead bins, lead mood lighting, wider seats, and quieter interiors. The cabin altitude is also optimized to reduce jet lag and fatigue. Airlines can customize the cabin layout, entertainment systems, and seating arrangements to match their brand and market needs. The environmental benefits of the A321neo are not just about fuel savings. The aircraft emits about 5,000 tons less CO2 per year compared to older models and reduces nitrogen oxide emissions by up to 50%. The engines are quieter, complying with the latest ICAO noise standards, which is great news for communities near airports. In 2025, 
Airbus has continued to evolve the A321neo with software updates, aerodynamic refinements, and advanced flight management systems. These improvements make the aircraft smarter and safer. Pilots benefit from better navigation tools, real-time diagnostics, and more efficient autopilot systems. Maintenance crews appreciate the reduced need for inspections and the ability to predict component failures before they happen. From a production standpoint, Airbus is ramping up its global manufacturing footprint to meet the growing demand for the A321neo. In addition to its main assembly lines in Toulouse, France, and Hamburg, Germany. Airbus is also producing a 321 Neo aircraft in Mobile, Alabama, and Tianjin, China. This decentralized production approach helps reduce delivery times and supports local economies. Orders for the A321 Neo are soaring. As of mid 2025, Airbus has received more than 5,000 firm orders for the A321neo from over 100 customers worldwide. Major airlines like Delta, American Airlines, United, Lufthansa, Indigo, and Turkish Airlines are rapidly expanding their fleets with this model. Even budget airlines like Wizz Air, Spirit, and JetSmart have embraced the A321neo for its slower operating costs and extended range. What's also worth noting is that the A321neo is helping airlines phase out older, less efficient aircraft like the Boeing 757 and A310. It's filling that market gap perfectly offering similar range with far better fuel economy and lower maintenance costs. In fact, the A321neo has become a sort of 757 replacement, allowing airlines to maintain long thin routes with fewer passengers and better profitability. Let's talk a bit about performance. The takeoff distance of the A321neo is approximately 7,400 feet, depending on load and conditions, and its cruising speed is max 0.78 or about 515 knots. It flies at a maximum altitude of 39,000 feet, with a maximum takeoff weight of around 97 metric tons for the XLR version. It's a true heavyweight among single-aisle aircraft, yet it operates with the finesse and efficiency of a much smaller plane. The flight deck of the A321neo is classic Airbuser with fly-by-wire controls, side-stick handling, and a glass cockpit. Pilots strained on other Airbus narrow-body aircraft, like the A319 or A320, can transition to the A321neo with minimal additional training. This cross-crew qualification is a big plus for airlines trying to streamline pilot scheduling and reduce training costs. For cargo, the A321neo also delivers. It has large belly cargo holds that can accommodate containers and bulk cargo, making it a favorite for airlines looking to generate additional revenue from freight. Some cargo carriers are even converting older A321Shio models into freighters, and Airbus has indicated that an A321neo freighter variant could be in the pipeline in the future. In the context of sustainability and the global push toward decarbonization, Airbus is also exploring ways to make the A321neo even greener. Sustainable aviation fuels, or SAF, are a big part of the equation. The A321neo is certified to operate with up to 50% SAF, and Airbus aims to increase this to 100% compatibility in the coming years. Research is also ongoing into hydrogen-powered variants, and the technologies tested in the A321neo program will play a key role in future zero-emission aircraft. It's no exaggeration to say that the A321neo is reshaping the future of aviation. It offers a rare combination of range, capacity, and efficiency and it does so while meeting the toughest regulatory standards. Airlines can now serve long-haul markets without over-committing to a wide-body jet, and passengers get a quieter, more comfortable flying experience. In 2025, 
The A321neo stands as a symbol of how far aerospace engineering has come here and where it's going next. With ever-increasing orders, continued improvements in design and systems, and a clear focus on environmental responsibility, this aircraft is positioned to dominate the skies for the next decade and beyond. If you've flown recently and noticed how quiet the engine was, how smooth the ride felt, or how roomy the cabin appeared, there's a good chance you were on an A321neo, whether you're flying for business or leisure, this aircraft makes the journey more efficient, more sustainable, and more enjoyable. So next time you're booking a flight, check the aircraft type. If you see A321neo on your itinerary, you'll know you're in for a state-of-the-art flying experience. Thanks for watching and learning about the 2025 Airbus A321neo. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Master Auto Information for more deep dives into the latest and greatest in the world of aviation and transportation. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.